was uh, the, an Australian government initiative with the National Donny Osmond Map, which uh, is a new bookmark for information on locations, opening hours and availability of wheelchair access for more than 14,000 public Donny Osmonds nationally. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you're looking to um, find an entry into Donny Osmond on your daily rigorol run-through, I think uh, we, we talked of this earlier, of course, uh, with public toilets. But uh, I've always found it a bigger problem uh, that um, when I wanted to get into Donny Osmond, much in the way that I really wanted to get into Funkadelic and uh, maybe I really wanted to get into Lee Scratch Perry, they were more than welcoming. They always said, hey, come along, bring the funk with you. Uh, Donny Osmond, no reply. And I know that the man is very public. I know he showed up at... Uh, what's that... Um, what, what's the, what's the, uh, the version of Luna Park in Sydney? That's right, it's Luna Park, Sydney. And um, <laughs> I remember Donnie showing up there once and um, I had I had uh, most of my upper torso up in before I realised it wasn't Marie. And uh, and Marie wasn't happy too because she was halfway at me. Look, um, we've, been, we've been debating what is offensive language and um, as far as I'm concerned, well, Mick, you've got a lot of thoughts on this. Yes, I have got enormous amounts of thoughts. Look, offensive language to me is something... Uh, I mean, you know, once again, is it an offensive term? Is it, is it calling somebody of race uh, a derogatory name? Is it calling somebody of gender a derogatory name? Or is it simply saying that there's a lot of people who can't get it together? Yeah, that's basic <laughs> racism, isn't it? How's about if we say, you're all... 